there. I think everybody has heard of geometry, but has anyone heard of coordinate geometry? That's where we check out the properties of geometric figures using the coordinate plane. You know, the x and y axis, the quadrants, ordered pairs, all that good stuff. Today we'll review concepts from algebra that you're going to need when you start using coordinate geometry. In this case, I'm talking about calculating the midpoint. Got a question for you first. If you took two math tests and made an 80 on the first one, and a 90 on the second one, what would your average be? Well, let's add them up and divide by 2. You should have 85. Guess what? If you know the endpoints of a segment, finding the midpoint is easy. It's the same thing we just did with the test scores. Just find the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. The two average values are the coordinates of the midpoint. That's it. So, in a nutshell, there are times you need coordinate geometry to check out the properties of geometric figures. But before you can use coordinate geometry, you really got to understand the concept of midpoint. And once you really understand how to calculate the midpoint, you're well on your way to understanding coordinate geometry. Midpoint. There you go.